Hi artists, it's Mrs. Bartlett here with a tutorial about how to use our Google Classroom. So when you're on the, the home page, we can go to Classwork. And our first lessons are Home Learning Week 1. And the first assignment that pops up is the written work for the day. So that's going to be updated daily, kind of like our Duno and our exit activity. So there's one to start to kind of introduce you into the day's work. And then there'll be one that you finish later after you do your work for the day, where if you have any questions, um, basically you rate your understanding. And if you have any questions for me or about the lesson, you can post them there. OK, now the next thing is our version of the week one assignment. You received an assignment in your packet. And we've modified it to kind of be a little more rigorous, a little more art trend worthy. So week one home instructions is a link here and it gives you choices. It's going to give you the assignment. This is what the assignment will look like um, in the packet that you get. So the assignment that you were given is pick five of your favorite objects in your bedroom, place them on a table and draw a picture of all the objects. So we're taking that as our starting point and I'm going to give you some options to turn that into a project. So you're going to set up a still life, but I'm going to give you a few different options that you can choose to turn that drawing into a project. So you will create some sketches in your sketchbook. If you don't have your sketchbook, any paper is fine. And then I'm giving you three different project options. So the first option here is you're just going to use the pencil and your sketchbook and the paper provided to you in the packet or any paper of your choosing. And you're creating a drawing series, which means at least two. You're also going to research value and shading techniques and add value and shading techniques. I'll go, I'll go into that in a little bit. So things that will be graded for all of the assignments are going to be the sketches, the planning sketches in your sketchbook, um, a little bit of research, and I'm going to grade that by your daily questions. And then I'm going to grade the overall project. And you're going to be, submit these projects either using Google Classroom or Class Dojo, whichever one is easier. So these projects are going to be due on Wednesday by midnight. So you have some time to do it, but I do need the planning sketches and the written work um, more on a daily basis. So I'll go into that in a little bit as well. So the second choice is if you have drawing mediums at home, marker, color pencils, crayon, pastel, you can do the same um, series type where you're creating at least two drawings, but then you're going to research about color theory and you're going to complete two of your drawings with two different color theories. And the same thing goes, the same grading criteria, and I'm looking for it posted in a week. And the option three, if you have paint at home. So if you don't, you're not going to choose option three, you can pick option one or two. But if you do, instead of doing a series, you can do one painting, but the entire painting, uh, the entire paper must be painted. And you're going to be held to the same criteria. So I'm looking for planning sketches in your sketchbook. You're going to research color theory, but instead of picking two, because painting takes longer, you're, you're just focusing on one color theory. And again, you're going to have your photos posted in Google Classroom or on Class Dojo by 1159 on Wednesday. So this just has some more details about drawing a still life. So in case you're not sure what a still life is or what good examples of still life are, I've included some, some tips and some resources. So we're going to get into the resources right now. So I've, I've included color theory and shading techniques. Not all of these apply to you. So it's just to give you a jumping off point for your research. You can choose to use the basic color wheel and the shading techniques and the still life tips and the drawing still life tips. You can do your own research. Um, and then also I've included some, some videos of people drawing still life. So just to give you some creative examples. So what I will be looking for today is that you're answering the, the two questions that were up above. So day one still life written work. And then each day that we're in class, I'm going to add to that. So this will be for today. And then I'll add more for Tuesday and for Wednesday and for Thursday for next week. And then also what I'm, what I'm going to ask is you can 
add to our screen. You can uh, post comments. You can post images of your sketches. So far, if you want feedback, you can just reach out to me directly. And we can communicate back and forth. I can give you tips. I can give you suggestions. So I want you to kind of treat this like we are in our regular class. So for our class, we're either five periods or six periods a week. So I want you to try to do that, that amount of work. So I'm going to be looking for the written work on a daily basis, but the projects on, on a more weekly basis. So you'll see me again tomorrow. I'll, I'll give you another post with some, some updates. And feel free to reach out. I'm happy that we're back in school, and I miss seeing you all. So I can't wait to see your work. Bye.